hello everyone this is kenny Rooney and welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to install jupyter notebook on your windows machine and it's going to be a very simple installation process so there's when you go to this website jupyter.org there's a bit of um, information over here which i highly recommend you spend time and read i mean jupyter notebook is very popular so there are a lot of institutions and companies using it so there's a high chance wherever you work if you are working with data science projects you are definitely with chance on the jupyter notebook environment so currently you can see that um, all these big tech companies are using the jupyter notebook environment so i'm going to show you how to go about with the installation so over here i'm just going to open my command prompt so i'm going to type c m d over here and let me just zoom things up a little bit good so if i'm to do a pip list and run this and you could see that this is going to list all the python packages i have currently installed on my global environment and i'm going to put jupyter on my global environment because um, i don't want to have a project and anytime i have a project i'll be installing jupyter notebook so currently i have some jupyter stuff in here but it is not really the notebook so you could see that i have um, jupyter lab pi uh, pi mint and some jupyter lab widgets and stuff like that these are not the jupyter but then i'd want to do something like this so inside of my cmd i can do a pip install then i'll type in jupyter notebook like this so there's a pip install jupyter notebook and i'll press enter and once again you need internet to run the installation so currently the installation has begun and it will take a couple of seconds all right so just about now the installation is complete so i'm just going to close this and inside of my desktop i'm just going to create in a folder so i'm just going to call this folder python so i'll open inside or I'll open this folder and this is a very simple and shortcut way of handling things over here because i found um tutorials where people have to go and open the anaconda environment and use jupyter in there that's kind of a long route so whichever working directory you are working in just come in here and type in cmd and press enter so basically what this does is it is going to open your command prompt in this particular or in that working directory so as you can see it is on desktop and the working directory is a python folder i just created so in here i'm just going to type in jupyter notebook and press enter so this is going to start the application so this is going to be the server that is going to run behind the background because this is going to open up in the browser and clearly this is what we have in here so like you can see the working environment or the working directory is empty so currently there's nothing in here so i can come in here and create in a new python file so i'll click on this and it's going to open this up in a new tab for me over here and in here i can just change the name to something like my app and i'll rename this so i'll press enter and now we are going to have the my app.ipynb file extension and that's exactly what we have over here my app.ipynb so over here we can start working out some few things over here so this is where we write usually the normal python code so we can have something like two plus two and there are some shortcuts over here but we can click on this run icon over here to run this cell and as you can see the output is four i can equally have something like name so i'm going to have a strange variable and i'm going to say kenneth and if i'm to do print name over here like this 
and also run this cell you can see that i have kenneth being printed out over here now the good thing about why sometimes you need to work in a Jupyter environment especially if you are working with data science or machine learning stuff is it gives you an advantage over other ids and that's simply because when you have this okay you can simply type in name the variable name and run it and it's still going to run so over here you need not to bring out the print function over here you can just type in name and it's going to run or execute for you so this is a very simple video and i hope you find value in this video now kindly subscribe to cambrotech and don't forget to hit on the notification button so that anytime i release a video you'll be duly notified also share with families and friends who find this content very useful at cambrotech we say learn programming you can do it bye bye and catch you in the next video